Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. Today I just wanted to show you um, how we can boom a plastic pot. This pot here I actually got from Kmart for $1. What a bargain. Um, and I'm just going to fab it up. So Boom Gel Stain, we do have a website now. We also have a Facebook group where we all share ideas and tips and um, inspire each other. It's definitely worth joining. It's such a lovely group. So what I'm going to do here is I'm literally just going to um, pop a small amount of white boom and this is just literally to help it flow. So for the, those of you who don't know, Boom Gel Stain is a relatively new product. We've only been out for about six months now. Um, and it's non-toxic, water-based, environmentally friendly. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. Um, and it's just, you can use it for so many different applications. It's amazing. All right, so that wasn't in any particular way. You can see I've got a bit of dust there because I'm working outside. So I've just really roughly distributed that on. Okay, so that's ready to go. And now what I'm going to do is actually what some would call a dirty pour. So I'm going to pop in a bit of my stealing wax white, only a tiny dot there, you will see. And then this lovely colour is our Mally Ring Neck Blue. It's actually... Um, a lot more green but it comes up very blue in the camera and I've got no idea why but we've got to work with it and I'm going to add a small amount of black and then some more white again you will hear my chickens in the background um, we tend to let them free range so don't know what I was thinking because now we get chicken poop everywhere. Okie dokes, and I'm just going to do a little bit more blue. So all up there, um, I know what these cups measure. I've got about uh, 40 to 50 mils, so I'm just giving it a quick, not a very good mix either. It was just a brief one, and I'm literally, so I might pop this onto my hand just for a little while. And just show you how easy this is. So I am literally just going to start pouring. Now I do hope I'm staying in focus. Okay. So I'll just tip some more around here. So this is it. So literally, now if I wanted to, I could blow and actually spread that out a bit quicker. Um, I could also spritz um, very lightly with some water here to increase flow down that way. But it will get there, I promise. And here we go. So don't worry, what I'm doing here is I'm just... Um, also going to increase the flow once it cut, gets down to the, the ends so you won't see any of the mess that I'm making as such sorry I'm trying to tilt it and keep it in view of everybody so I'm just going to add a little bit more here Now at the moment you're probably thinking, oh gosh, that looks terrible. I promise you, once this all blends and starts to flow and create its own little patterns, it looks amazing. So initially I think I would have used about 5 mils, 10 mils of the um, white boom just to get things moving. And now, what did I say? I added about another 40 to 50 mils in the dirty pour. So 60 mils in total 
I've been gel stain and look what we've got. Well, I promise you it will look good in a, a few more minutes. And you can see we've got some cells happening. With Boom, you don't actually need to add anything and any other products as such to create cells. Yes, you can though. Oh. Um, but it's not a requirement. Now, <laughs> now. I tried to get my pot to sit on this level before I'd actually started recording and I promise you it sat perfectly fine. Now, because I'm recording, it's not going to, but that's okay, I actually want a little bit of a tilt over this way in a way for a couple of minutes, just to get it flowing that way. And so far I haven't even used all that was in my cup, so I probably could have done with a bit less. Just going to lift it up, put my hand in just so I can show you some of the effects we've got going here. So, this has taken me literally a few minutes. We've got some amazing effects going on. Now, if I just sit that there, oh, goodness. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Thankfully, it's still very wet, and I can just add my other little bit that I've got here, and it won't make a difference because it's still flowing. All right. So I'm literally just going to go around. There's a little bubble. I used to say don't worry about the bubbles, but do pop them because if it dries quickly, the bubbles don't actually um, dissipate on their own and um, they can be a bit of an eyesore at times. So even though you can see that there's actually some thick globs and runs coming down, Boom actually dries completely flat with no cracking um, or anything like that. So once this dries, it will just feel as smooth as the pot originally did. Now I'm going to stop it here and we will add at the end um, a snippet of the finished product. I'm not going to do anything else to it, I'm just going to let it dry. Okay guys. Okay, so this is the dried result. There's a hair in there, um, but apart from that, um, it looks really, really nice. Now, during while it's dripping, you actually just run your finger along the edge and you don't have any um, runs. So if you do that while it's quite wet, it's a nice, neat edge. I forgot about this. So I had a lot going on. So you can see here where I've gone along, I've done the drips. See that little smudge? That normally wouldn't happen. That normally wouldn't be there. You just gently run your fingers along the um, along the lip while it's wet and it's usually perfect. Now on the inside here you can see I've made a mess. I can just wipe that off with a baby wipe or fill it and don't even worry about it. Um, Mr Fly got stuck. Yay. Oh it looks like he might have actually been alive for a little while. Poor Mr Fly. Okay he's made a bit of a pattern there. All right so I'll flip it up the right way. So there's still a bit of wetness there but here you go. So that's it. So that was a $1 plastic pot, and now it just looks amazing. Well, I think so. I'm going to have to just, <laughs> I don't know. I'll shoo him off, and hopefully it doesn't look that bad. Oh, I used my wet wipe, so that didn't work too good either. But anyway... The hazards of drying outside in future i wouldn't have this outside but i had it outside to dry fast so there you go looks fabulous um container was a dollar 
I used about um, 30 to 40 mils or about 40 mils and you can see there was a bit of excess but how cool are those patterns so if you let your skins dry um, you can then put that into jewelry amazing there you go so there's no wastage really and you've got a fabulous gift for somebody as well if you wanted to thanks everyone bye